I'm Tyshell Mosley, owner of Tyshell Mosley Art. I'm a Silver Spring native, an artist, and an art teacher. So my craft is art. Um, I participate at local events, festivals, and I also teach art classes. I host Sip and Paints. I do Mommy and Me art classes. I do art classes from K through 12. I also do adult art classes with adult beverages, so Sip and Paints and I'm local. Shopping locally to me means that you are building up your community and the people within the community and with Tyshell Mosley Art and being at FAS Marketplace it's two local businesses coming together to bring art to everyone from age O up to 80 or 90. If you can paint and you know you want to do something in a creative space safely and expressing yourself, then this would be the place to come. This is why we shop locally. This is why we network locally, because we don't want the bigger corporations coming in town and taking everything away from us locally. It makes stronger communities. My name is Anastasia Ba, and uh, I am originally from Ghana, but I've been living, I moved to the United States about uh, 16 years ago. I've been living in Maryland for at least 14 years. I had my first and second degree here in uh, financial management, but my mom has been a seamstress. She's been sewing all my life, so I learned the craft from her and I developed a love for fashion. So somewhere along the line, I started, uh, she also moved back here to join me in the United States. So we started working on um, making clothes for people and then it started expanding and I decided to take it on as a, a career. I've been doing this for almost seven years now uh, on part-time basis but last year I finally uh, decided to go full-time so I've been doing this for almost a year now and it's been wonderful. I designed the clothing and I have workers both in America here and then in Ghana and I chose to do it in Ghana for the reason being I wanted the authentic African fabrics to be used and also uh, to provide employment for our people back home as well, the locals back home, which has been tremendously wonderful. So far, we've uh, hired about 10 people who work for us in the workshop. So we made the clothes there. I go there about three times in a year and I pick the fabric, I design the clothes, we make samples and I come in and they finish it and then ship it back here for me. So this is what I've been doing and I just got this place here in May. I opened a little shop here, boutique over here and I've been running and it's been wonderful so far. So this is what I do. Yeah, for me, uh, as I said earlier, I have been uh, doing this on part-time basis, uh, thinking it was very expensive for me to rent a shop like a brick and mortar, but FATA secured this place and I got this boutique in here and it's been wonderful. And I think it's very important to help the local, the community is a way of giving back to your community. When you shop here, you keep the money within the community. You help uh, women and other people who are in business, the small businesses grow. It kind of helps us to employ other people as well. So we provide employment. So the money kind of circulates within the place, uh, within the community, which helps uh, with taxes and everything for the government to beautify the community and other things for us over here provide schools and all the, the rules and all important stuff so it's it's very beneficial when you keep your money within the local community you are able to have this uh, close relationship with the people who actually makes the things that you buy and then you get to see them and you get to interact with them they actually some sometimes people you already know friends family or even people across the street up in other way you might not even know them but through the businesses you get to know them so you know that I'm buying something from this person, I'm supporting this person and the family. I am actually helping somebody's business to grow, which will turn around and help you in another way. Even if you don't own a business in a way, you enjoy the facilities and stuff that the money can invest into. Yes. Hi, my name is Johanna Kalen. I'm the owner of Nurture Designs. I'm originally from New York City and moved to Maryland uh, 13 years ago. I started this business uh, three years ago um, based on my love for jewelry. I took a metalsmith class and slowly started making a lot of jewelry um, and I needed to find a way um, to get rid of it. Um, so I started selling and um, 
and here I am today. Shopping locally, um, you find many unique items um, and you support your local community and your local artists. What's going on people? I go by the name of David DJ Spectacular and I feel like it's very important to support local businesses here in the community. Um, I started here from the DMV, Baltimore area. I'm now in the DC area and it's very important to support the local businesses for networking, for build, generating wealth, creating opportunities, and really getting to know the people that you work with. And it's very important to support me in the community as well. My name is Rachel Beton. I'm a chef here in Silver Spring running a catering company um, you could find us on Instagram. Our handle is at Kosher Sustenance. Uh, my background is that I have basically been in the kitchen ever since I can remember myself. Uh, I consider myself self-taught, um, but I definitely learned in the kitchen from the time I was a young girl with my grandmother, who was just a phenomenal, authentic Moroccan cook. Um, my specialty is Mediterranean cuisine, specifically Moroccan food, and um, it's a really unique offering in this area where you don't find um, the Moroccan food anywhere, really. So people often come to us with uh, that special request. I, I think shopping locally is very important because you're supporting small businesses, especially women run and own businesses like mine. Uh, you know, this is what sustains my family. It puts food on the table. It helps me, you know, provide for my children. And it's very, very meaningful whenever we get business and we take it very seriously and are very appreciative of it. Um, because we know there's a lot of different options out there. So when you use someone local, I think you really get your money's worth and, um, you know, we take care of you. <laughs> My name is Amako Bome. I am Nigerian and I am a natural hair and skin care formulator. And we are Amalicha Naturals. Amalicha Naturals is a natural hair and skin care company and we thrive to bring your innermost beauty to the forefront. So it's really important to shop locally because not only do local businesses support and uplift your, their communities, but they also stimulate the economy by providing opportunities to smaller businesses like us, um, allowing us to engage with audiences that we may not be able to engage with, and also providing opportunities for our business to scale on a larger level and we appreciate uh, communities, we appreciate Foz Market because they not only saw this as an opportunity to reach a local business, but they also embraced us as family. And nothing is more rewarding or refreshing than being seen as family and not just a business opportunity. This is June from DMV Chop Bar, a local catering company representing the DMV area. We specialize in West African cuisine and we cater occasions all over the DMV area. And the importance of shopping locally is to make sure you're keeping dollars in the community and to also support young entrepreneurs or entrepreneurs that are trying to reinvest in the community as well. Hi, my name is Bianca Kostovetsky and I make handmade skin and hair care products. Um, I've been doing this for about seven years. The whole purpose of this was because my sister-in-law was diagnosed with breast cancer and she was unable to put regular products on her. So the first product that I'd made was my hemp lip balm uh, that's made with raw honey and she was able to put that on her lips. Her lips were going through a lot of uh, chemotherapy issues and such so that was very helpful. And after that everything else kind of progressed. Um, so the benefit of um, shopping locally is because you basically help those who are actually wanting to do good in the community, wanting to make products that are helpful 
for the community and it's just not like a machine made or a chemically induced product. Everything that you see on my table is made with natural products. Some of my products like my hair growth oil, you could actually put that on your salad dressing. So it's that natural. Um, it's safe for kids, also um, it's unisex, so anybody could actually enjoy this. But yeah, that's how you would be helping us um, to expand and um, benefit from the community who are actually into this stuff. So, thank you. Hello there, my name is Brianne James and I am the founder of My Wonderful T-Shirt Line. I sell t-shirts with positive messages on them, such as this one that I'm wearing right now that says, kindness is a universal language, speak it. And then I also have another t-shirt over here that says, charity is a universal language, speak it. And basically what I do is I have a shoe drive called the Brandon French Shoe Drive that I do every year. I've been doing it since 2017, so this is my third year. And what I do is I try to collect as many shoes as I can to ship off to Jamaica. I collect all black shoes, hopefully, wait, the, yeah, usually they're brand new. And um, I will ship them off for school children in Jamaica. I collect all types of shoes all year round and I just ship those off as well. Okay, well I think that it's important to shop locally and support locally owned businesses because if you keep buying from a bigger business, that business just keeps getting bigger and bigger. Whereas if you shop um, at a small local business, you can help that person to increase their sales and to also increase their business size. And I think that's very important and as a small business owner, I think that supporting people that have small businesses is a very important thing because it can really help to inspire other people that have many talents that they just don't portray because they're nervous that someone else will make fun of them. It can help them to sort of come out of their shell and show everyone what they've got. And I think that um, a place, especially like um, FA's Marketplace, helps to showcase all the talent that we have in the community. And I think that that's very important.